once upon a time in sunny Spain, there was a little bull, and his name was Ferdinand. All the other little bulls he lived with would run and jump and butt their heads together. But not Ferdinand. He had his favorite spot out in the pasture under a cork tree, and he would sit just quietly under shade all day and smell the flowers. Sometimes his mother, who was a cow, would worry about him. She was afraid he would be lonesome all by himself. No, Ferdinand! Why don't you run and play with the other little bulls and butt your head? But Ferdinand would shake his head. I like it better here, where I can sit just quietly and smell the flowers. And because she was an understanding mother, even though she was a cow, she let him sit there just quietly and be happy. As the years went by, Ferdinand grew and grew and grew until he was very big and strong. All the other bulls wanted most of all to fight at the bullfights in Madrid. But not Ferdinand. He still liked to sit just quietly under the cork tree and smell the flowers. One day, five men came in funny huts to pick the biggest, fastest, roughest bull to fight in the bullfights. All the other little bulls ran around leaping and puffing and butting their heads so the men would think that they were the strongest and fierce and pick them. But not Ferdinand. He knew that they would not pick him and he didn't care. So he went out to his favorite court tree to sit down. But he didn't look where he was sitting, and instead of sitting on the nice cool grass, in the shade he sat on a bumblebee. Well, if you were a bumblebee, and a bull sat on you, what would you do? You would sting him. And that is just what this bit did to Ferdinand. Wow, did it hurt. Ferdinand jumped with a snort. He ran around puffing and snorting, butting and pawing the ground as if he was crazy. The five men saw him, and they all shouted with joy. Here was the largest and fiercest bull of all, just the one for the bullfights in Madrid. So they took him away for the bullfight day in a cart. What a day it was! Flags were flying, bands were playing, and all the lonely ladies had flowers in their hair. They had a parade into the bullring. First came the banderilleros, with long sharp pins with the ribbons on them to stick the bull to make him mad. Next, came the picadores, who rode the skinny horses, and they had long spears to stick in the bull and make him even madder. Then came the matador, the proudest of all. He thought he was very handsome, and he bowed to the ladies. He had a red cape and a sword, and he was supposed to stick the bull last of all. Then came the bull, and you know who that was, don't you? Ferdinand. They called him Ferdinand the Fierce, and all the banderilleros were afraid of him, and the picadores were afraid of him, and the matador, he was scared as stiff. 
Ferdinand ran to the middle of the ring. And everybody shouted, because they thought he was going to fight fiercely, and butt and snort and stick his horns around. But not Ferdinand. When he got to the middle, he saw the flowers, and he just smelled the flowers. The Wanderer was mad, and the Picadores were madder, and the Matador, he was so mad, he cried because he couldn't show off with his cape and sword. The Matador, he made ugly faces. But Ferdinand, he just sat, and a smell. The Matador, he was furious. He broke his sword in little pieces. He stomped his feet, and he pulled his hair out. But Ferdinand just sat quietly, and a smell. He pleaded with the Ferdinand, Please, please, eat me. Do something! Do something! Give it to me! And then he started crying. He cried because he could not show off his, his courageous sword. So they had to take Ferdinand home. And for all I know, he's sitting there still under his favorite cork tree, smelling the flowers, just quietly. He is very happy. <laughs>